Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing all of the packages that have been sent over from different brands over the past few weeks. And as always, anytime I do a PR haul, I also like to host a giveaway. So make sure you watch until the very end of today's video for all of the details. I'm going to begin with this giant box. I kind of consolidated here. So I have a lot of different things shoved in here and it's pretty heavy. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it down. I'm going to begin with this little package sticking out the top. This was sent over complimentary from Kopari. And actually they sent over a few packages. This was sent a few weeks ago. I think they introduced new flavors of their lip glossy, which I've tried this birthday suit and it's really nice. So I love that one. This is the watermelon. They also have pineapple, which sounds really good. Very beachy. And then they have the original, which I think is just coconut they have coconut oil they're very glossy they have a slight tint but it's really just shine for the lips and they feel really hydrating because of course Kopari uses coconut in all of their products and then inside the little cute bag is this Kopari mirror which is very nice the pink sparkly makeup bag is also very cute I always need makeup bags I feel like I have so many but I constantly use these whenever I'm traveling or just for organization underneath the sink I'm gonna go ahead and apply this birthday suit so you can see just how glossy it is. Mm. Mm. Smells like coconut. So you can see it didn't really change the color of the lips. This one has a little sheen to it. So it did add a little luminosity, but it's just very glossy, smells really great, feels great on the lips. So I love these. Here is their newest product to launch. This is the Coconut Latte Body Wash. It says stimulate and hydrate with coffee and macadamia nut oil. Now this sounds so good. I'm currently using the Kopari Body Wash and actually before that I was using the shower oil, which was also amazing. It left my skin feeling so soft. And then I tried the body wash and I don't know which one I prefer. The shower oil is just a little bit too thin. I always felt like when I pumped it out, it just slid through my fingers before I had time to lather. But you can't really go wrong. The scent is intoxicating. It is just the most relaxing thing to smell while you're in the shower. It doesn't really smell like coffee, but I think it has little coffee grinds, little coffee grounds in there to exfoliate. I will have to put this in my shower right after I'm done filming. I love the Kopari bath products and they also sent over their Coconut Crush Scrub, which I love a body scrub and this one is so nice because it has a really good grit to it. It's a brown sugar scrub infused with tiny pieces of Tahitian coconut shells and coconut oil. So whenever you use it, it leaves your skin feeling so soft and smooth, but hydrated at the same time. And I always need a good body scrub in the shower because I sunless tan regularly. It's the best way to prep for a fresh tan, but it also helps to get rid of the old tan as well. Also in the box, some extra goodies, a little Kopari loofah, which is always nice. They included a coffee mug says Kopari get your day glowing and then this cute little tub of gummies it says but first coffee they're caffeinated gummy bears from Alfred and Sugarfina very cute I forgot about this last thing this is the Kopari coconut rose toner to refresh and balance skin I have one of these open actually I'm using it it's really nice it smells like a hint of rose just very refreshing Here's another great summer body item from Isle of Paradise. It's their self-tanning butter. It's the Hello Golden Glow. I don't know if they have different shades. It says, get set, glow, do's and don'ts. Carry out a patch test 24 hours prior to application. Do not apply to broken, irritated, or hypersensitive skin. So I'm pretty sure this is just, oh, self-tanning butter. I guess it is a self-tanning lotion. I thought maybe it was one of those gradual tans, just like a body lotion that will give you a hint of color, but it doesn't sound like it. Not if you have to do a patch test. It says it has color correcting actives to help even out the skin tone. Ooh, so maybe I should try this the next time I sunless tan. I do have one of their tanning mousses and I also have the mist as well, which I don't know if I've ever used the mist. I think I took it with me on a trip once. The mousse is really good. It's not the deepest, darkest tan ever, but I still really liked it. I didn't have any complaints. So I will definitely give this body butter version a try. 
maybe it will look really nice. I feel like I have so many beachy items here. It's making me excited for summer, even though it's not even spring yet, technically, I don't think. It feels like summer outside, but this is some from Super Goop. It's their new mineral sheer sunscreen with SPF 30. It's 100% mineral with broad spectrum sunscreen SPF 30 for a barely there 100% non-nano zinc oxide face protector. It glides and blends in effortlessly while leaving behind a smooth natural finish that wears well under makeup, which is great. I've seen so many funny TikToks and reels lately about how much sunscreen you really need to wear underneath your makeup because a lot of times people think that the SPF that comes in their foundation is enough to cover your face when in reality you would need so much foundation, way more than anyone would actually use. So it is important to have a sunscreen underneath. I like the idea of a sheer version. I love the original glow screen. I also really like just the unseen sunscreen, the original. Do they have another one? They also have a matte sunscreen, which I believe they sent over and I haven't tried yet because I really just like the glow screen, but I'll give this a go as well. The glow screen I think has SPF 40, 40 or 50. The 30 I think is great depending on where you live. I would probably not wear this to the beach, but maybe on more of a daily basis, this would be enough. I received these hair products here from Playa. This is the California Salt Shampoo with tea tree oil and sea salt. It deeply cleanses and soothes the scalp. And this is the Healing Hair Mask with kaolin clay and amla oil, which deeply moisturizes and also soothes the scalp. I will always try a new hair mask, so I'm excited to try this. And they also launched a new travel set at Sephora. So this is a $36 value for just 20 bucks. And it comes with the little coconut water shampoo a supernatural conditioner, and then a little ritual hair oil. It's all TSA approved recyclable bottles. So this is something that you could take with you if you're doing any traveling this year, which hopefully sometime very soon, we will all be able to travel a lot more. And then something like this will really come in handy. I always like to have little deluxe samples of my favorite skincare, hair care items. I don't like to use the stuff they provide in hotels if I can help it. Most of the time, convenient sizes like this are a terrible value. It's such a waste of money. So I love the fact that they created a little value set. That way you're getting more than your money's worth. I also received the new Benefit Mascara, Their Real Magnet, and I've heard great reviews of this mascara. Right now I have so many mascaras open, I could not open this mascara to test it out. So I'm going to take everybody's word for it. I am going to wait. It's supposed to give your lashes lift, make them 40% longer, magnetically charged core which draws lashes out to extreme length. It's supposed to be flexible, lightweight, builds easily. I don't know if I believe that it's the magnet doing that. Maybe it's just a really great formula and the brush is really great. Sounds interesting. Maybe I'll have to just pop it open and see for myself. I also received two shades of the new Beauty Blender Bounce Powder. It's a soft focus gemstone setting powder. Ooh, it sounds so fancy. This is the shade Buff and Canary. So I have not tested these out, they are sealed, but I will open these up and I'll let you know my thoughts in a get ready with me video sometime very soon. Have you guys heard about this powder? Are you interested? I'm down to the last few items in this box and then I do have a few other boxes to dig into, but Herbivore sent over a few nice things. Here we have an amethyst facial roller, which I have a couple of these. I always think it's kind of nice to use them. I don't use them that regularly. What I have been using is my Jillian Dempsey Gold Bar, which has the same effect. That one vibrates, so it feels really nice, but it's kind of the same techniques. It's meant to do the same thing. It's meant to depuff, kind of stimulate circulation in the skin. See, this is what you need with the roller. This is the Herbivore Phoenix Facial Oil. It has rosehip and sea buckthorn for deep renewal. Let's see. For a truly natural sensorial beauty experience. Ooh, wow. I've never tried any of the products from Herbivore. It smells really nice. It smells like rosehip. I can't help but think of pizza oil whenever I look at this bottle. The color is kind of throwing me. 
But I think I can move past that because it smells really nice. They also sent over their Retinol Alternative Smoothing Serum. Let's see what this looks like. This is meant to smooth the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles without synthetics or irritation. A 100% natural plant-based retinol alternative serum. I'm currently using a retinol from my dermatologist's office, but I know you are supposed to cycle on, cycle off. You're not supposed to use a retinol 12 months out of the year, so this will be great in the off months. It looks very pretty. It has this bright purple shade doesn't really have a smell. It has kind of a goopy texture. It's really interesting. It's like a stringy gel. Very weird. Do you see that? I kind of like that it's fragrance free though. Doesn't smell like anything. And it feels very slimy. <laughs> it feels very smoothing. The next box I have here was sent over complimentary from New Face, and it's to celebrate their launch in Sephora stores. So New Face has always been available at Sephora, but previously you could only order online. Well now, you will be able to see the devices and all of the attachments in stores at Sephora, and I'm sure they're going to be training all of the associates. So that way, when you go to the store, you can actually see the product, feel it in your hand, probably have a demonstration. The box says no appointment necessary. So let's see, I have the Fix, the Mini, and I do have the full size new face, but I didn't have any of the attachments. So they sent over the Trinity attachment. This has the red light. It's intended to reduce the appearance of wrinkles. They also sent over the eye and lip attachment. For eye and lip, you can also use the New Face Fix. Sometimes that's a little bit easier because it's so small, easy to just kind of whip out any time. Also included is the Gel Primer 24 Karat Gold Complex. This is the Brighten. And you can leave this on your face and use it as a serum. They also sent over this little mini Veluspa Apple Blue Clover candle, which is always really nice. And then the last piece in this box is... A little new face headband that way you can get your hair out of your face whenever you're doing your new face treatments very cool next up I have a ton of hair care here to unbox this first package was sent over complimentary from Christoph Robin and they were so kind they included a deal for all of you guys so through the end of the month, if you spend $90 on any of their products and you use the code Erin Nicole at checkout, you will receive a full size bottle of their daily hair cream. I will make sure to link all of that information down below in case you are like me and you are also a Christoph Robin fan. They sent over a couple bestsellers and a few products that I was interested in trying. So they restocked my shade variation mask in Baby Blonde. I still probably have maybe half a tub left, but I was planning to replace it immediately as soon as I finished. So now I already have a backup, which is great. This mask is one of my hair care essentials. I highly recommend for anybody who struggles with brassiness. It's nice because it doesn't dry out the hair, but it definitely cancels out those warm orangey tones. I like to use it especially on the top half of my head. And then I don't even need to bring it all the way through. I'll use a different hair mask on the bottom half of my hair, but I definitely use this always around the roots. They also included their Regenerating Serum with Prickly Pear Oil. This had great reviews, so I requested to try out this product. I will let you know what I think, but I'm excited. Everybody had great things to say about it, and I'm always looking for different hair serums, hair oils, any product that will help eliminate damage. Prickly Pear Seed Oil, one of the richest plant oils, helps the hair feel strengthened, and Takuma Butter, a nourishing treasure it intensely nourishes without weighing down hair. So it's a true multi-purpose serum and it protects hair from artificial heat up to 440 degrees while improving the appearance of split ends. This sounds exactly like what I'm looking for. They included this Color Shield shampoo, which is always nice to have on hand, as well as the Color Shield mask. Here I have the cleansing purifying scrub with sea salt. It's a soothing detox treatment. I've seen different scrubs that are intended for the scalp. Now, I tried one once from Way. I believe it was that brand. And I don't know if there's a secret or a trick to getting the scrub to the scalp, 
but I felt like I couldn't really massage the scalp. Like I couldn't get the, the scrub to that part of the hair because all of my hair was in the way. If you've tried any of those scalp scrubs and you have a special trick, let me know what you think down below. And the last thing, oh, I'm so excited. They sent another Boris Hair brush. I love my round brush, but this flat version will be better for whenever I'm just brushing through it. Like today on a day when it's a little bit straight and I'm not doing a blow dry. Amazing. I love, love, love my round brush. And I think I'm gonna love this one too. The day before a wash day, I like to spend some time brushing my hair from root to end because it helps take all of these natural oils up here that are so nice and healthy for your scalp and your hair up here, and it helps to gently move and massage those oils down your hair, and it helps to make your hair look really silky, but it also helps to hydrate the ends, this part down here. So it leaves your hair looking so silky smooth. Brushes like this will change your hair. It's amazing. Highly recommend. This was sent to me complimentary from Shuamura. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly. I'm probably butchering it, so you'll have to pardon me. They have a new line of products just for blonde hair. It's the UB Blonde line. So this is the Glow Revealing Shampoo for bleached highlighted blondes. Contains peony. Looks like it's a purple shampoo intended to cancel out the brassiness. They also included the UB Blonde Full Replenishing Conditioner. This is the Anti-Brass Purple Shampoo. Oh, so this is the purple shampoo. I guess the other one is maybe for damage. Here we have the UB Blonde Anti-Brass Pure Balm for bleached highlighted blondes. Okay, so yes, it is a hair mask. You apply to shampoo, towel dried hair, leave on three to five minutes and then rinse thoroughly. The last product in the box is the Essence Absolute Nourishing Protective Oil. It's camellia oil. On damaged or normal hair, use before shampooing or as a leave-in. So it's kind of like what you would do with an Olaplex treatment, leave it on for 30 minutes and then shampoo it out. Something like this is really nourishing for the hair. You leave it in. Most of the time I have to do a double shampoo. I do a double shampoo anyways, but that way you get all of that remaining oil out of your hair so it doesn't weigh it down, but it leaves your hair feeling so nice and silky. <gasps> Ooh, excited. And this last hair care box was sent over from Oribe because they finally launched in Sephora, which I didn't even realize that previously you couldn't purchase Oribe at Sephora. So it's now available exclusively online, sephora.com. And these are some of their top selling products. Here we have the Bright Blonde Radiance and Repair Treatment. So I think this is another mask maybe for color treated hair, which sounds great. They sent over the Bright Blonde Shampoo to help protect color, as well as the Bright Blonde Conditioner. I really don't think my hair is overly damaged, but it's inevitable that you are going to have some damage and some breakage whenever you heat style your hair and it's color treated. You can tell my roots are very dark and my ends are very light. It takes a lot to keep it healthy. I really have to put in the time, the effort, invest in the right products and get it right. Otherwise, there's no going back and I would just have to chop it all off. At some point, I do plan to go back to my original color. I get that question all the time or that comment. People say, when are you gonna go back dark? And I will. And the very last PR box I have to share is a bit of a doozy, but I tried to save the best for last. I don't know if this is really the best. I shared a lot of really cool products, but it's certainly one of the most exciting because Coach did a collaboration with the Sephora collection and they sent me a box with everything, which is really cool. I think this is one of the most beautiful PR boxes I have ever received. Let me take out these boxes to show you. So this is the Coach Sephora Collection's T-Rose lip set. This packaging is so cool. Here's the T-Rose nail set. It comes with a base slash top coat and a pink nail polish. This is the Unicorn Face Palette. I'm gonna open this up so we can see what it looks like inside. The outside is pretty cute. It's fun, it's different. And then we have two eyeshadow palettes. This is the Sharky eyeshadow palette and Rexy eyeshadow palette. 
I will save those for a future video if you guys are interested. And this is my favorite piece of the collection. It's the Tea Rose brush set. I think this is really pretty. The brushes look really nice. I am so happy with my Sephora brushes, which they are the Sephora Pro. I don't know if there's a huge difference between regular Sephora collection and Sephora Pro. The Sephora Pro brushes are amazing, but these look really pretty. It comes with a coach brush holder and they're rose gold and kind of glittery. So it's a fun collaboration. I misspoke, that wasn't the last thing. I also received a bunch of pieces from Danessa Myricks, which recently launched in Sephora. And I need to show you a couple of those products to explain the giveaway, which we're about to get into. I tried some of these products and I was incredibly impressed. I didn't know much about the brand. I Googled her, I watched a couple videos. She is an incredible makeup artist and this line has been available for a while now. I think it maybe launched a year or so ago and it's just now getting into Sephora's. I didn't really have any expectations, but when I tried the products, wow, they kind of blew my mind. So I went in with this illuminating veil. This is a liquid highlighter and it is very shimmery. I used this as a primer underneath my foundation and it worked. It was very glowy, but it looked really beautiful. So that I love. This cream bronzer is amazing. This is the shade medium. It's the power bronzer. It's a matte bronzing and shaping cream. I love this shade. It's so easy to blend. Absolutely love the cream bronzer from the brand. I also tried the loose setting powder. It was amazing. I have a couple other products here. These Color Fix Waterproof Matte Liquid Pigments for eyes, lips, and cheeks. I went in with a couple of these. I did the eyeshadow cream cheek. They're beautiful. Really easy to work with. I think sometimes creams like this, because it goes on like paint, you have to use a very teeny tiny bit, but it can feel kind of intimidating and overwhelming. But they blended really beautiful. I found them to be very easy to use. Highly pigmented, but not overwhelming, not sticky, not aggressive. It was easy to create a beautiful, kind of soft makeup look using those. Here's another illuminating veil. This is a deeper shade. This is the shade Goddess, so it's more of a thick bronze. This would be beautiful all over your neck and shoulders for an evening out over the summer. And then she also sent over her palettes this highlighting palette, which I'll tell you about the palette. I like it. I didn't like this as much as I love that liquid highlighter and some of the other products. The other products I tried, including the little creams, the cream bronzer, those were amazing. Even the concealer was really good, the setting powder. This was so-so. I don't know if maybe I tried the wrong color in the palette. This was the one product that was good, but not great. The other products that I tried from the brand were great. So they sent over a ton of stuff. I went through the pieces, picked out the things that would work for me, and the rest I set aside for the giveaway, part of the giveaway. So I have a huge box. I threw everything in this really pretty Parfum de Marly box. It's very heavy. <laughs> so this box is filled to the brim with makeup, tons of makeup. We have the Danessa Myricks, light work. This is her highlighting palette. This is more from medium, deeper skin tone. If you do have a light skin tone, I think you could still use this as eyeshadow. You could probably still play around with it on the cheeks. It's very pretty. I included a couple Becca light shifters. These are really pretty. Lip liners from Laura Mercier. There's a pink and a red, so those are definitely universal. I also included the Becca Light Shifter Finishing Veil Powder in the shade 3, so this is somewhere right in the middle. Here is the Power Bronzer in the shade Deep. Again, this is going to be for somebody with a deeper skin tone. Could you make this work if you had light skin? I didn't open it up, so I have no idea. <laughs> Here is the Duet Highlighting Facial Balm. This is clear, universal for absolutely anybody. There's just a ton of stuff in here. A lot of really great makeup. Tower 28 blushes. I used the peach. It's beautiful. I have so many blushes. There's just no way I would be able to use these up. I don't want this stuff to go to waste. So these are two of their new shades. This is Power Hour and After Hours. A really pretty tawny and red. 
I also threw in some of the Say Beauty products, a couple lip glosses, brow butter, dew balm. There's a bunch of lipsticks in here, Bay Blush Plumping Jelly. The box is just filled with makeup. Makeup is kind of difficult because not everything works for everybody, but I do think the majority of the contents in this box will work for absolutely anybody and anything that doesn't work for you, whoever wins, you can gift it to somebody else. All you have to do to enter this giveaway is make sure you are subscribed with notifications on, follow me on Instagram at Erin Nicole TV, like and comment on this video, include your Instagram handle because that's how I contact the winners. This giveaway will remain open until March 23rd. Good luck to everybody who enters and that completes today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. Let me know if there are any reviews you would like to see on any of these products and I am happy to do a follow-up. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned. Everything on my face will be down in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.